Hey guys, so today's video is one that I had um, heard about myself a while ago and thought I would share with you guys. Um, I don't know if there's any um, full videos on this now that I think about it, um, but I haven't searched YouTube that much besides for actual clips from the show. Um, this is the story of the, um, how do I put this correctly? My brain doesn't work anymore. I'm so sorry. Um, Jacob Stockdale, who became a killer, um, killed a few of his family members, <clears throat> which I'll go into, but his, um, I guess you could say infamy partially comes from that he was on an episode of the TV show Wife Swap. Now, if you're not from the U.S., um, I don't know if they have a version of the show in uh, the U.K. or anything, but basically it was really famous in the early, probably to mid, maybe even late 2000s. And the premise of the show, it was... It was a pretty controversial show for a little while, but the premise of the show was that it was reality TV and they would pick two families and swap the wives. So it was, I don't know, like a week or something like that, that a wife from one family would go to live at the others and, you know, they would swap homes. And to cause controversy on the show, the two different families were, couldn't be like any more different, basically. Um, you may get like a military family who does everything by the book, has a really strict schedule, their house is always spick and span, and the other family is like complete hippies. They don't clean anything, they don't believe in rules, they don't scold their children, and you have the wives um, switch and sort of like see how things are done on the other side of the fence and maybe give some tips from their home, learn some things from the new home, and then the families meet at the end, the two different parents, sets of parents, and talk about like how you're raising your kids and what I've noticed is hurting them or, um, you know, just different things. Usually it's pretty heated um, on purpose. The producers want that for drama. It's very rarely that you get an episode where the two families meet at the end and they're like, you know what, you're right. I saw this, I saw that. Um, I totally took this from your family, you guys, I wish we could live more like you guys, etc. It's usually like pretty judgmental and pretty like, no, we believe this way, the way what you're doing to your son is just awful. So it was pretty controversial at the time. Now, one of the most famous things that this show would do was take a religious family and then a very non-religious family and swap the wives. Um, if you've ever seen the God Warrior clip on YouTube, highly recommend looking that one up. Um, the religious family would get really scared and nervous because, um, like the God Warrior was famous because she thought everything was satanic. She went to this other family who was definitely like hippie types and she saw all this stuff, like all this decor they had around their house and outside they just had something, it was just a star, like a regular five pointed star. She was like, what is that? And he's like, it's a star. And she's like, that means Satan. That means the devil or something. I don't like it. And it was like, they purposely plucked these families out and caused controversy. You get it. I'm, I'm over explaining it. This was one of those religious um, swaps, basically. Um, it was about the Stockdale family. Uh, the family consisted of the mother, Kathy, or Catherine, age 44 at the time. Father Tim, 48, and the children Calvin, 19, Charles, 16, Jacob, 15, and James, 11. And Jacob, the 15-year-old, is the one that we're going to delve into the most. Now, as the show depicted, the Stockdale parents strictly managed the media that their sons could watch. Each son could do chores around the house to earn tokens with which they could earn time to listen to the radio, but they were not allowed to listen to pop or rap music on the radio. The boys could not date or curse, even though at least one son was legally an adult. The story goes that Kathy, and I'm reading this, I believe this was a People Magazine article. I'll list all my sources below as usual. The story goes that Kathy and Tim became afraid of living in the city, fearing that their sons would be exposed to bad influences. They moved to Beach City, Ohio, um, established a homestead where they began farming and apparently clog dancing. 
on their episode, Kathy Stockdale swapped places with the matriarch of the Tonkovic family. Of course, the Tonkovic family appeared quite liberal in contrast to the Stockdales. The woman Kathy swapped with cries about the treatment of the boys several times in the episode. Um, now, there is a Stockdale family manual that they made. And you can find this online. Um, but the manual specifically cites a desire to leave behind rap music in addition to violent language and sexual influences. Instead, the boys would process chickens and perform other chores in exchange for tokens with which they would earn sticks of gum and radio privileges. The family also had a bluegrass band, simply known as the Stockdale Family Band. Kathy often posted videos of her family performing in their band. As Calvin and Charles grew older, they left the family band and moved out. Um, the band was apparently somewhat successful, and in June of 2017, the band booked was booked throughout the summer. Kathy, who was the manager of the band, had seemingly done a good job of keeping them busy. Now, here's where things went south. On June 15th of 2017, Stark County Police received a 911 call at 4.36 p.m. in which the caller hung up the phone. Deputies headed to the location of the call, and from what I've heard, um, a gunshot was heard on the phone as it was being hung up or something. I don't, I don't know exactly. Um, deputies headed to the location of the call where they found the front door of the residence open. As they neared the door, they saw a figure just inside. They heard a gunshot and called for backup. Oh, there we go. That, that was the gunshot. I apologize. I knew that I had heard that a 911 operator heard it. Um, so it must have been someone that was maybe still on the phone or something um, with the police. They heard a gunshot and called for backup, continuing towards the house. Oh. There you go. Um, Jacob had shot his mother, Kathy, and his younger brother, James, who was 21 at the time. Both were killed. He then shot himself. He was alive, but barely. Responding officers found Catherine upstairs in a bedroom and the figure near the front door had been James. Local police officers had never received calls out to that home before and they described Jacob as somebody they'd never had problems with in the past. While the two old, older brothers no longer lived at home, Jacob and James still did. Timothy was out of the house when the incident occurred. Timothy um, was the husband described his wife of 32 years as a, quote, wonderful mother who also loved being a grandmother. He also remarked on her strong lo love of learning and passions in Christian faith, natural health, and organic farming. Calvin's statement regarding James described him as a catalyst of family fun and a gifted musician. James had a dream of learning more about the entertainment business when his life was cut short. Police can only speculate about a motive for the murders. Um, investigators believe that Jacob used a 20-gauge shotgun to commit the murders and to shoot himself. Now, the indictment process was slow in this case because Jacob was in the hospital recovering from his self-inflicted injuries. After he received medical treatment, he was arrested in September of 2018, longer than one year after the murders, um, this taking so long due to the multiple surgeries he had to reconstruct his face. Um, he was charged with two counts of murder and entered a plea of not guilty. In January of 2019, Jacob attended a short hearing with his defense attorney. The attorney requested a psychological evaluation, his second one. In May, Jacob was hospitalized in a psychiatric facility because he was deemed not mentally competent to stand trial. In the meantime, Jacob's court case had been delayed. Um, Timothy Stockdale has attended every single court hearing in this case as well. And Jacob Stockdale, if he is convicted, faces 15 years to life in prison for each murder charge. Um, I have a statement or a quote from his father. In the past 15 months, our family has begun the healing process. As Jacob has undergone extensive surgeries and physical healing from his wounds, we have all taken the time to try and prepare emotionally for the legal issues ahead. 
My sons and I continue to love Jacob, and we will continue to give our full cooperation to the authorities. Now, Jacob Stockdale's trial was scheduled to begin April 9th of 2020, but we all know what's happened this year. Um, I could not find any information basically since then. Um, that was updates from January. So my guess is it's still been delayed. Um, I don't know what the expected date is for the trial to begin, and I don't know um, Jacob's current mental capacity. Um, I know originally they had stated that his competency was expected to be restored within one year, um, basically giving him time, I guess, to get over the trauma of what he did and all the medical treatments that he went through. It's really, um, I think, easy to point the finger and say, well, of course, you guys raised him way too strict, way too this, way too that. Of course, he was going to snap. Um, I don't believe it was that simple. I think there was some sort of underlying um, mental issue and perhaps it was ignored, um, not on purpose. I don't believe that his parents, I don't believe that most parents would ignore something like that, but maybe they didn't understand the severity of it. Um, maybe there was ongoing issues between Jacob and his mother or Jacob and the rest of the family. Um, maybe he didn't feel so understood by his family. Maybe he felt that if he, um, chose a different life or a different religion or a different whatever, um, that somehow they would stand in the way of it. Regardless of what happened, there's no excuse for it. He shouldn't have done it. Um, and regardless of what they may have what he feels they may have caused him pain-wise or, you know, emotionally. Nobody deserves that type of ending. Um, so my heart breaks for the entire family, really. This is just, um, it's just appalling and really sad. So my hope is that some justice can come for um, Kathy and her other son that passed with her. While at the same time, some healing for the remaining family members and some healing for Jacob, um, some real psychiatric treatment of some of some sort. Um, maybe he can come to understand why he did what he did um, and sort of come to terms with that and go from there with his family. Now, the website for the family band is still up. Um, I have that listed below in the sources if you would like to check it out. Um, it's just a weird kind of time capsule, I guess, from just a few years back, but who knows how long the site will stay up. Um, but yeah, that's below if you guys want to check that out. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button below. If you have any suggestions for videos, true crime or otherwise, please leave those in the comments below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button as I upload new videos every Wednesday. And other than that, I will see you guys next week.